Hello, hello, hello. We moved. Oh, no, that's not what I wanted to do. But that's what we're going to do. My audio sound good. Looks like my audio might sound good. Welcome to the channel. Anybody that has decided to join the channel with my big old X split V cam logo in there. Got to do something about that. This is Sports Simulation Spectator. I am Mike, and tonight we are going to continue my season ticket baseball replay of the 2001 Toronto Blue Jays second game of the season. Toronto Blue Jays do find themselves 0-1. They lost to the Texas Rangers on opening day, uh, but we're just going to kind of get right into it. Uh, let's see. Make sure that I've got everything the way that I think I want it. Um, sure. Is that what I want? Yeah, that sounds great. All right, so today's opening pitching matchup is Chris Carpenter getting his first start of the season. I should look up there. I'm. This is Chris Carpenter getting his first start of the season for the Toronto Blue Jays against... I guess Tampa Bay Devil Rays. This is the 2001 Tampa Bay Devil Rays. 2001 Tampa Bay Devil Rays uh, ace. Tanyan starts. Man, the Rays, I, I've been looking at their baseball reference page. They were bad. In 2001, they lost 100 games. And went through two managers. They were not a good baseball team. <laughs> But that's okay, because that's how we play. Uh, so like I said before, we're not doing as an as played. Uh, we are using based on ability. We're going to have Diamond Digital Baseball, Digital Diamond Baseball. I keep getting it wrong. It is Digital Diamond Baseball is going to be helping me track through some of this stuff. Uh, let's switch over to my tabletop. I think I've got it nice and pretty. We'll see. We'll see. We are playing in Tropicana Field in... Tampa Bay, Florida, St. Petersburg, Florida. I think it's St. Petersburg. I think that sounds right. Um, let's see. Hop back over here. So let's take a look at our opening day lineup. This is opening day, uh, the home opener for the Tampa Bay Devil Rays. Uh, starting in right field. No, you know what? We're not going to tell you the Tampa Bay Rays because they don't bat first. Leading off in the first inning is going to be second baseman Homer Bush for the Toronto Blue Jays. Raul Mondesi bats second in right field. Carlos Delgado at first in third or at the in the three hole. Shannon Stewart bats clean up at a left field. Jose Cruz Jr. in center field bats fifth. Brad Fulmer, the DH, bats sixth. Tony Batista, the third baseman, bats seventh. Alex Gonzalez, the shortstop, bats eighth. And catching uh, Darren Fletcher. Opening day starter, like I said before, for the Devil Rays is Tanyan Sturtz. In real life, he went 11 and 12 with a 4.42 ERA. Uh, gave up 23 home runs in 27 starts, it looks like. Uh, if I'm reading this right, he may have lost his job in the starting rotation at some point. So, let's just hop over to our game. How's it going, Dwayne? Thanks for joining me. I'm just going to kind of plan through it. So, this is the second game of the season for the Toronto Blue Jays. Like I said, I'm not doing an as-played. Um, I am using the... There's a, a manager profile that I've set up inside Digital Diamond Baseball that kind of looks at uh, players' expected war and OPS uh, to kind of build lineups alongside what their expected play time was. So as the season moves on, instead of me having to guess and figure out where do I want to put in subs and all that kind of stuff, uh, we're going to get some variations in the, the way the lineups get built. So that's why Homer Bush is starting today uh, in the leadoff spot for the Toronto Blue Jays, as opposed to, I guess it probably would have been Shannon Stewart. So we're popping in here and we're just going to get started. It is temp, uh, Tropicana Field here in 2001. So it is a dome. There is no weather. There's nothing fancy going on there. So we're not rolling for anything. 
Uh, no rain, no wind, nothing. So coming up to bat, I'm going to pop up Digital Diamond. Here we go. Leading off, Homer Bush. That is a 498. 498 against a righty. Oh boy, it starts off. <laughs> starts off. That is deep left field for Homer Bush. Deep left field. That is a six and an eight. That is 14 on his power of two. That puts him at 16. Unfortunately, it's just a fly out. F seven. Coming up to bat, Raul Mondesi. When I was a kid, I remember thinking Mondesi was was awesome. The digital baseball, the the digital diamond baseball board companion is is so great. Admittedly, I have played through, uh, or I've been playing through a 1993 Phillies replay just using the dice rolls and the uh, cards that are built into Digital Diamond, and that's uh, fun in its own way. But being able to get stats, I am a, a stats, I love statistics for years. I wanted to be a statistician. Uh, so being able to track all this and not have to make sure that I'm able to read my scorecard and get it in nice exportable HTML files and all that jazz, uh, it's it saves me a whole lot of time. Except for when I have to stop and read my quick start card because I don't know what I'm doing. Uh, Raul Mondesi, he went one for four in the first game with a double. Oh, and we missed with our blue die. It is an eight, four, nine, eight for Raul Mondesi. Four, nine, eight. We're looking at a five, three ground out. And five, three, third, but first two down. In steps Carlos Delgado in his real life, 39 home runs. That is a 499. 499 against that righty. We got another fly to deep right field, except Delgado's got lots of power. That's an 8 plus a 10. That is an 18 to deep right field. And Carlos Delgado takes him deep. Is that the right? Did I get it right? Let's see. Tanyan Sturtz crushed to right field, and Randy Wynn can't do anything but just turn around and watch. Toronto finds themselves up 1-0 in the first. Shannon Stewart gets an opportunity, went 0-4 for 4 in the first opener, in the home opener. This is a 5-9-6. 5-9-6 is on... Who's nine? Right field, Randy Wynn, right there. Five, nine, six. That's just a fly out to right field. Randy Wynn drives, gets under the ball, squeezes the glove around it. And the Toronto Blue Jays are down after one half. Toronto is up one to nothing. The Toronto, or the Toronto. I also wanted to be a broadcaster, and I'm just not um, built for it. I, I can pretend here, though. It's it's. I can pretend, and I can just do it for funsies. Uh, your, let's bring up this box score. Let's get my batting, or my... Do-do-do-do-do-do. This is the home opener starting in the first position right field as Randy Wynn. I'm going to have to go through and use these actual cards. I don't know who some of these guys are. At shortstop, batting second is Felix Martinez. Batting third in left field is Ben Grieve. Batting cleanup is the crime dog, Fred McGriff. 37-year-old Fred McGriff. Batting fifth is Russ Johnson at third base. Batting sixth is the DH today, Greg Vaughn. Batting seventh is Mike DeFelice at catcher. Batting eighth, center fielder Gerald Williams. And batting ninth <laughs> is a guy I've literally never heard of, second baseman Bob Smith. 
Bob Smith, you would think this was a randomly generated guy in a fictional world. Uh, in real life, Bob Smith got six games, 19 at-bats, with a 105 average. So he's not going to be around here very long. Enjoy your start, Bob Smith. And starting the game today is Chris Carpenter. Uh, in real life, he went 11-11, and 11, three complete games, uh, 409 ERA. 75 walks and 157 Ks in 215 innings. So, Randy Wynn steps into the box and the pitch. That is a 6-3-2. 6-3-2. That is a pop-up to the shortstop. Alex Gonzalez steps up. Grabs it. One down. Into the box is Felix Martinez. Nope, I hit the wrong button, but that's okay. We got to roll. Whoop. One, two, two. One, two, two is on the pitcher's card. That becomes a three, two, two. And Felix Martinez swings and misses. But if I remember right, a strikeout, if I'm doing the fun advanced rules, a strikeout on a redirection is a K looking. So it's a looking strikeout instead of a swinging strikeout. Stepping into the box is Ben Grieve. I believe Rookie of the Year, Ben Grieve? Is my memory serving me right? 644. It goes to this card. We are looking at an F8. Fly ball to the center fielder. Jose Cruz glides over, catches it, throws the ball to the outfield, and runs into the dugout. <laughs> Tanyan Sturt steps back out onto the rubber. He's through 14 pitches to the first inning. Uh, like I said, the one thing that I am doing that is a little bit di well, I'm doing a whole bunch of different things. Uh, but one is I'm actually utilizing Digital Diamond Baseball's uh, fatigue meter uh, for tracking rather than worrying about tracking stamina on the card itself. Uh, and that's, um, I'm going to start, I'll add ticks when they start getting exhausted, I guess, uh, for being able to up the value of the 600 rolls just to make it a little bit more challenging for for the hitters. but. I haven't quite figured out exactly how that's going to work, but I only had it come up one time in the first game. All right. Up to bat is center fielder Jose Cruz Jr. Against Mr. Tanyan Sturtz. That is a 3-2-3. Three, three. And it's a big old swing and a mix, mix, mix miss for Jose Cruz. One down for Brad Fulmer. One six seven. One six seven is on the Tanya Sturts card. It's a wild pitch, but nothing happens on a wild pitch. We just re-roll. One six eight. Guess what? Another wild pitch. All of a sudden, I don't know what's going on. His he's lost control here. One. I'm sorry, 5-1-3. Two wild pitches on that same, same play. 5-1-3. So we're going to the pitcher. 5-1-3. That's a ground out 1-3. And Brad Fulmer is down. Tony Batista batting 250 on the season with a 500 OPS. Actually, that'd be cool to find a way to to put the... I'm not going to do it right now, but I'm going to find a way to put the batter stats up on the screen too while I still save some of my real estate. I'll figure out some way to get that, get that done. Tony Batista, he went one for four with a strikeout in that opening game against the Texas Rangers. I'm going to have to do something here with my dice tower too. It's not behaving. Five zero four. Five zero four. That goes to 
the rare replay or the rare play chart. And I bet you I don't have the instructions open no more. Let's find out. Do I? I bet you I closed them. But luckily enough, I have the web page up. Complete rule book. We're going to rare plays. Here we go. It is a 504. 504 with nobody on base. Goes to page 30. Hard line drive back up the middle. Hits the pitcher. Batter is safe at first. And all runners advance one base. Pitcher is injured. Roll on the line drive injury table. Oh no. That is bad news for... Mr. Tanyan Sturtz. So, got to find his injury table. Injury table. Here we go. Pitchers. Players with fewer games played will have a higher modifier. Pitchers, he's got... Choose the G or GS that provides the smallest bonus to the die roll. Smallest bonus to the die roll. Oh, well, so the one thing that I had decided that I was going to do with this was if a player got hurt, they were going to just be out for the game. Uh, because in I'm still playing based on real life um usage percentages so i guess tanyan starts is just going to come out of this game um of course i get something real nice and challenging here at the very beginning so let's see we got our digital board game companion thingy over here detailed instructions um So I guess in this case, we're just going to say that it's an infield single to the pitcher. And we'll just take him out of the game. The game's not going to track his injury because I'm not putting it in as an injury. An injured doesn't actually show up in the rule book at all. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to call this Uh let's see. I want to see where's my advanced rules. One of these days, I'm going to get the advanced stuff all perfect. Uh, that's single in it advances. Let's go take a look at erase runner, runner advances, runner out, run play, squeeze, sacrifice, error, hit by pitch, home run, single. Uh, here we go. This is what I'm looking for. Soft ground ball fielded position. So it's okay. So we're going to undo this menu, undo last play. And we're going to enter a new swing and it's a ground ball fielded by one. Uh, and our soft ground ball. There's a syntax for it, soft GB.
There we go. Sturts at the belt. Now comes to the plate. Batista hits it slowly on the ground towards the mound. Fielded there by Sturts, and he'll have to hurry. He throws too late and an infield single. Unfortunately, though, Tangan Sturts is now hurt. So Mr. Sturts has to come out of this game as a result of that wild play. And we got to take a look at our Tampa Bay. I've got my whole bullpen here, including all the starters. But we have to take out our starters that are in our upcoming lineup. So we're looking at Paul Wilson. He's tomorrow's starter. Travis Harper. Albi Lopez. <laughs> Brian Recar. So who's our long guy? Do the Rays have a long guy? Doesn't look like it. Ryan Roop is our spot starter. Roopy? Ryan Roopy? Roop? So you guess he's who's coming in. Ryan Roopy? Roopy? Roop? Sounds great. Ryan Roop is coming in as a result of that injury. I found it, Dwayne. What I was looking for was how to indicate that uh, Tanyan Sturt. So essentially, Tanyan Sturt's got hurt. Uh, and I was looking. No, let me restart. Tanyan Sturt's fielded a ground ball that was hit off of him and got hurt on the play. All I wanted to do was make sure that it was Tanyan Sturt's that fielded the ground ball and wasn't able to throw out the runner. Uh, I don't see any way to indicate injury in Digital Diamond Baseball. So I'm just taking Sturtz uh, out of the game. And I found a way to indicate that it was the pitcher that fielded the ball and didn't throw the batter out. That's what I was looking for. And we got it now. So we're good. But thank you for the offer. I'm sorry my little chat bubble is behind my Digital Diamond Baseball, so I don't see it all the time. All right, so we now have Tony Batista on first, and Alex Gonzalez steps into the box with. Oh, I, I guess I didn't put in my bat, my pitcher. Let's go back and do that again. We are bringing in Ryan Rupi, Ryan Roop, as my pitcher to replace the now injured Tanyan Sturts. Just injured for today, though, because it looks like he comes back in a week. There we go. Ryan Roop. I'm going to have to look up to see how that's spelled. Alex Gonzalez with a 5-4-1. 5-4-1 for is our second baseman. Second baseman is that generic Bob Smith. Here he is. 5-4-1. That is a 4-3. Round out. Bob Smith is the first baseman. And Ryan Rupi, <laughs> I don't know how to say that. Let's see. I wonder if Baseball Reference says how you say his name. Ryan Roop. There we go. Pronunciation. Roop. Ryan Roop. But Chris Carpenter pitching to Fred McGriff, the crime dog. Two, three, three. Two, three, three. Ground out, four to three. Fred McGriff heads back to the dugout. And in steps Russ Johnson playing third base today. In real life, he hit 294 with an 816 OPS. 816 OPS, but only had four home runs. That's kind of impressive. There we go. We got a 5-8-4. Five, 5-8. Eight, eight. eight is Jose Cruz. 5-8-4. That's a fly ball to Jose Cruz. Settles under it. Catches it four and out. Two down. To the D.H. Greg Vaughn. 35-year-old Greg Vaughn. That is a 1-6-6. Six, six. 
And Greg Vaughn takes ball four and heads to first base. So the Tampa Bay Devil Rays have their first runner of the day with Mike DeFelice, the catcher, stepping in. That is a 2-5-8. 2-5-8. That becomes a 2-8-8, which means we're looking back at Cruz again. 2-8-8. That is a single plus. Single plus and an R1 question mark. So we are looking at a single plus. <clears throat> One B plus F8. A single plus. Let's see. It was Jose Cruz. How's his arm? Nah, Greg Vaughn's not fast enough to worry about trying to steal. So there's, or to advance to third base. Two down and two on for Gerald Williams. Gerald Williams into the box. That is a 159. 159. That is another walk. And things have suddenly gotten really hairy for Chris Carpenter. The bases are loaded with two outs. And if nothing else, the Tampa Bay Rays have turned over the lineup. Bob Smith gets his opportunity. Can Bob Smith rewrite history? He had one RBI in his 19 at bats. He's got the bases loaded. That is a five, I'm sorry, a six, five, eight. Six, five, eight. He cannot. That is a ground out five to four. And Chris Carpenter is w able to wiggle out of trouble in the second inning. To the top of the third, Toronto is up one to nothing. Darren Fletcher, the catcher, gets his first at bat of the day against Ryan Roop. This is a 5 8 1. 5 8 1. We're looking at our center fielder, Gerald Williams. 5 8 1. Just a lazy fly ball to center field. And Darren Fletcher finds himself down. Lineups over, turned over. Homer Bush steps into the box. This is a 6-7-3. Six, 6-7-3. Seven, three. Six, seven, three. And Homer Bush takes one right in the middle of the back. That is a hit by pitch. Puts him on first. So let's take a look. He's got a speed of 5. Mike DeFelice has an arm of six. Nah, we're not going to try a steal right at the moment. Homer Bush is on first. Raul Mondesi batting in the two hole. That's second. That is a two, two, six. Two, two, six. Against the righty, that's an F9. Fly ball to the right field. Mondesi's not able to advance Homer Bush. He retreats back to first base, hoping that Carlos Delgado has got a little bit more power in his bat before they head back to the dugout. Delgado rolls a 2-4-5. 2-4-5 against a lefty. That ball is to deep right field. Does Carlos Delgado have more? That is a four on Elgato's, Delgado's eight. That's a 12 to deep right field. But this time it's just a long, loud fly ball. Randy Wynn coasts onto the warning track, squeezes it for the out. And we head to the bottom of the third with Randy Wynn leading off the Tampa Bay Ray. I'm sorry, the Tampa Bay Rays still down one to nothing.
Oh, really? I did not know I could do that. I will have to look into that. That'll spend, that'll save me some time. <laughs> Although I do kind of like looking through the cards. There's something very, uh, I, I don't know. I, I enjoy the, the tactile nature of it. I am a very big board gamer in general. Uh, I've really only found myself into the, the sports replay genre in the last like two to three months or so. Uh, I did own a copy or I do own a copy of APBA 2000 football. And that was kind of my first foray into it. Um, for years, I played out of the park baseball. I've been playing out of the park baseball since version four. Uh, but now I find myself into the realm of replay stuff as opposed to just playing into fictional things where the players aren't real and the stats aren't real and, and that kind of thing. Uh, so yeah, th there's, there's a, a tactile nature to it that I do enjoy. I guess it's part of the reason why I'm rolling the dice and not just hitting the button that says, roll me some computer dice, please. Chris Carpenter, Lee, or Randy Wynn leads off against Chris Carpenter in the bottom of the third. It's a 5-2-2. Five, 5-2-2 two, two. Five, two, two goes to the catcher. Which is, where is he? Darren Fletcher. 5-2-2, two, two, that is a strikeout of Randy Wynn. I also need to get a wireless keyboard because right now my keyboard is over there. Shortstop Felix Martinez is 0-for-1 today with a strikeout. That's a 3-7-4. Three, 3-7-4 seven, four. Three, seven, four is a 4-6 to six ground out. Well, it's not going to be 4-6. It's going to be 4-3. Because there is nobody on base. And Felix Martinez grounds out. Two down. And Ben Greve steps into bat. I remember thinking Ben Greve was going to be awesome. He was one of the guys that when you collected sports cards, he was a future star. 4-1-8 for Ben Greve. And he works himself a walk. Ben Greve is able to... Use his eye. He did have a 372 on base percentage in 154 games. It's not too terrible. And the crime dog gets an opportunity. That's a 297. 297. And Fred McGriff gets a hold of one. Then is the deep right field. That's a four on McGriff's nine. That's 13 to deep right field. But it is just a long out to Raul Mondesi, who had a very strong arm. I enjoyed watching. Awesome. Thank you, Dwayne. I appreciate it. I very much appreciate the offer. I, I will say that I've found that this uh, community is a very welcoming community. It's, it's really nice uh, to be part of a group where, where everybody is just willing to, to help each other out. It's, it's really awesome. Shannon Stewart up to bat against Ryan Roop. So far, Ryan Roop has gone one and a third innings, and he's only thrown 11 pitches. So this is, he's doing something right. That's a 5-1-7. 5-1-7 is back to the pitcher. And that is a single to center field. May try to advance depending on his arm. I don't think he's going to. He's just going to chill right there. That's a single. To center field. Uh, Stewart leads off a first with Jose Cruz stepping into the box. Uh, 
Six, four, four. Swings and pops it out to center field. Gerald Williams glides under, catches it for the first out of the inning. And Shannon Stewart just repeats, retreats back to first base. And here comes the big slugger Brad Fulmer, the DH, stepping in. That is a 4-3-9. 4-3-9. That's another fly ball, this time to left field. Ben Grieve getting in on the action. And sets down Brad Fulmer. Can bat Tony Bautista do something with his big wind-up twist of the hips? It is a 6. What do we got there? 8-5. Six, eight, five. That is a double. Tony Batista rips a double. But Shannon Stewart couldn't get a great lead, and he just finds himself standing on third. Two, second and third with two outs with Alex Gonzalez stepping into the box. Let's see. Does Roop want to intentionally walk? Does Roop want to intentionally walk Alex Gonzalez? No, he's going to just pitch to him. Ryan Roop pitches to Alex Gonzalez. That is a 5-4-2. And it goes to our second baseman, who is Bob Smith. Boop. 5-4-2. He's got the range. That is a ground out four to three. And Ryan Roop has the magic. Gets himself out of the bottom of the inning. Two outs. Oh, no. Yeah, that's right. Because Chris Carpenter's pitching now to Russ Johnson. I lost where I was. Russ Johnson is 0 for 1 on the day with a fly out to the center fielder in the second inning. And Chris Carpenter pitches. 3 1 7. Swing and a miss. Set down on strikes. Russ Johnson's 0 for 2 with Greg Vaughn stepping in. That's the third strikeout of the day for Chris Carpenter in three and a third innings. That's a 2 3 3. And he grounds it over to the second baseman with a ground out 4-3 for the out. Greg Vaughn himself is 0-for-1 with a walk. Mike DeFelice steps into the box. 1-for-1 one one on the day. That's a 2-2-7. Two, two, and with two outs, 2-2-7. Two, two, that is a 6-3 ground out. Mike DeFelice grounds out to Alex Gonzalez to end the inning. And the Tampa Bay Rays are going to see if they can squeeze one more inning here out of Roop. So he's at 26 pitches. His relief stamina is 30 total pitches. So at this point, any runner that comes on base, I'm going to end up adding one tick. That's the way I've been handling it, uh, just like, kind of like a hybrid between Season Ticket and uh, Digital Diamond. So Roop is facing off against, where is he? I'm in the wrong deck. Darren Fletcher, 0 oh, for 1 with a flyout in the third. The, if you've watched all my videos, you've seen that every time I miss my dice tower and throw a die, please excuse me while I fetch it. It's just turned into a joke now. Oh. And Darren Fletcher with a 5-3-9. Oh, that is a to the three. That is our first baseman, who is Fred McGriff. 5-3-9, and McGriff boots it. That is an error. And Darren Fletcher gets on base. 
thanks to the McGriff botch job. And all of a sudden, the Tampa Bay Rays get somebody up in the pen. That's not what they were expecting. So I'm going to get my little tablet here, and we're going to start adding ticks. It's first runner on base. It's going to start getting a little hairy here for Ryan Roop. That is a 6-3-3. We're adding 10 to it. 6-4-3. Makes it just a F8. And Roop's able to skirt out of that one. Homer Bush flies out to Gerald Williams. One down. And even after that, Roop still only threw two pitches. So Raul Mondesi, we're getting back here into the heart of the order for the Blue Jays. As a 2-2-2. 2-2-2. Two, two, two. Two, two, two. And Ryan Roop swing, gets Raul Mondesi to swing and a miss. Gets the K. And all of a sudden, he's got an opportunity to get out of this jam. Carlos Delgado steps in. He is one for two on the day with a home run. He's got the only run of the day. That is a five, four, eight. Goes to our second baseman, Bob Smith. Where are you, Bob Smith? Here. Five, four, eight. Oh, no. That is an E4. We've got two errors in the inning and two runners on base. And that's two ticks of stress for Ryan Roop. As much as the Rays really want him to try to get out of this, who's up to bat? It's Shannon Stewart. That's right. I think they're going to bring in a new pitcher. That is just, this is, <laughs> every time, I swear, I every time I lose a die. So the Tampa Bay Rays, they just are not going to make Roop try to pitch out of this jam. So let's take a look here at our bullpen and see who we've got as options. We've got Mike Judd, who's not in the pitching lineup coming up. We've got Ariel Prieto, who it looks like I can't use right at the moment. Albi Lopez is there. Ken Hill. I guess we're gonna go. We're gonna go Ken Hill. 35-year-old Ken Hill is going to be our new pitcher. Ryan Roop did an admirable job filling in for. Uh, our injured Tanyan Sturts. Can Ken Hill get out of this jam job? Ken Hill got five games in 2001 where he gave up 10 earned runs. So, yeah. Ken Hill pitches to Shannon Stewart. That is a 3-3-9. Three, 3-3-9? Three, nine. Three, three, nine. That is an infield single. That is an infield single. Yeah. Oh, man. I have to undo my thing. But luckily, I have my cheat sheet. We're going to go F4. That's what we're doing. It just says ground or infield, so we're going to go F4. It's going to go to the second. Uh, no, you know what? It's going to be an infield single to the third baseman because it pulls him off a third base, and that's why Fletcher is able to move down there. So Ken Hill now has the bases loaded with Jose Cruz Jr. up to bat. Jose Cruz Jr. bases loaded and two outs against Ken Hill. The pitch, that is a 5-4-4. Four, four. I'm 99% sure that's exactly what we just had. 
Five four four goes to our second baseman. And that is a single to right field. Single to right field. And it does say that he can challenge the arm. So that would be Carlos Delgado challenging the arm. Delgado has a speed of zero. He's not even going to try it. I don't care who's in right field. Randy Wynn's got a noodle arm, but Carlos Delgado is just a slug. So he's going to stay there for the ever-powerful Brad Fulmer. Ken Hill is really butchering this for Ryan Roop. Ken Hill, this is his inning. They need to get some innings out of their pitchers because of the Tanyan Sturt's injury. Brad Fulmer steps in and the pinch is a 4-0-5. 4-0-5 is a 4-3 ground out. Is that right? Yes, sir. And Ken Hill is able to get out with minimal damage. One run, two hits, three runners left on, and after four and a half innings, it is Toronto 2. Tampa Bay, nothing. Chris Carpenter finds himself at 62 pitches through four and a half innings, so he's not being as efficient as he might like. Stepping into the box is Gerald Williams, the center fielder. That is a 3-9-8. That is a 5-3 ground out. Gerald Williams is down on the ground out to the third baseman. With Bob Smith coming up to play, to bat. Grounded into a fielder's choice. That is a 6-9-6. Six, 6-9-6. Nine, six. Six, nine, six. And that is a walk for Mr. Generic Bob Smith. He did earn three walks in real life, so the dice rolls are not lying yet. What's his speed? A three. I don't run a ton. I'm not super comfortable with it yet. And I, I'm going to start looking at the rules. I know that season ticket baseball does have some stuff for uh, automatic uh, coaching for some of those things like uh, base stealing bases. I'm not super comfortable with it. So I'll get there eventually. Uh, Randy Wynn, the right fielder is 0 for 2 with a pop up and a strikeout. That is a 1, 2, 9. That becomes a 3, 2, 9. And that is a K. That is a the second strikeout of the day. And this is a strikeout looking. Randy Wynn sits down. He's 0 for 3 on the day. And in comes the shortstop, Felix Martinez. That is a 1 9 4. 1. Yep, 1 9 4. We're looking at a bloop single. Blooped. Do 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 do. Hard line drive, single line drive. You know what? We're just putting it in as a single. It's a single. Blooped. I know that there's certain rules with bloops, but there's nobody else on base. Oh, no, that's not true. Bob Smith was on base. So it, let's see. If it's a bloop single, it is with greater than two outs. Actually, that is considered a single plus plus on a long bloop single. That's what that is. So we can actually go undo that. And that becomes, yeah, that becomes a single plus plus. And Bob Smith advances over to third base. The Tampa Bay Rays have something cooking again. Ben Grieve, their three-hole hitter into the box. 
What's he got? Three, zero, one. And Ben Greaves swings and strikes out to end the fifth. And the threat is uh, culled. After five, two nothing Toronto. Top of the sixth, and Ken Hill's still in the game. And Tony Batista is up to bat. He's got a he's two for two on the day. Uh, with a single in the second and a double in the fourth. And that is a 6-8-5. And Tony Batista grabs a hold of another one and rips another ball into the gap. That is another double. Tony Batista is 3-for-3 three three on the day with two doubles. With Alex Gonzalez up to bat. 5-9-1. Five nine goes to the right fielder, who is Randy Wynn. Five nine one. That is a fly out, and there's nobody on third, so he's not challenging anything. So Randy Wynn gets Tony Batista to retreat back to second base. Tosses it in to Bob Smith, who gets the ball back to the pitcher, holding Batista at second. Darren Fletcher up to bat. That is a 6 4 1. 6 4 1. Ball hit into the outfield. Gerald Williams glides over to the left and squeezes for the out. Tony Batista is still standing on second base. With Homer Bush, the lineup turned over. Homer Bush is 0 for 2. He's got a two flyouts and a hit by pitch. Homer Bush with a 6-1-1, and he swings and misses, and Tony Batista and his leadoff double are wasted, as Ken Hill has a solid inning, head to the bottom of the sixth. Fred McGriff, the crime dog, is 0 for 2. He's grounded out and flown out. Chris Carpenter at 81 pitches right now. That is a 6 0 3 and gets the crime dog to swing and a miss. And Chris Carpenter finds himself with six Ks through six and a, or five and a third innings. And Russ Johnson steps up. The swing and the ball is a 2 1 3. 2 1 3 versus a righty. That is another swing and a miss. Chris Carpenter's got two strikeouts here in the sixth inning. And Greg Vaughn, the DH, hoping to find some of that power today. Right now, the Rays only have two hits on the day. They have worked four walks out of Chris Carpenter, but two, two, three. Ground ball, two, two, three. 6-3 ground out. And the Tampa Bay Rays are turned away again. Does Ken Hill have another inning in him? He may need to because the, the Rays bullpen is not built in a way to be able to accept to take an injury like they got earlier today. So Ken Hill's going to stick it out a little bit longer. He's been decent since he gave up that run. The run ended up getting charged to Ryan Roop, but that doesn't hurt Ken Hill's line. Raul Mondesi. That is a 208. 208 becomes a 408. 408. And Ken Hill walks Mondesi. Mondesi's first time on base. He's got a speed of five. He's got a speed of five. Establishing a lead. Okay, so this might be the first time that I've tried to steal. Establishing a lead optional. Runner's steal rating versus the pitcher's hold. What is Ken Hill's hold? It's a one. So it's steal plus blue plus. Oh, so you get to add the red die if you're able to get a lead. 
So he's going to, okay, he's going to establish a lead. That's what's going to happen. So Raul Mondesi is going to try to do this. It is hold is 10 plus one. So it's got to be 11 or greater. Mondesi needs 11 or greater. He's got a speed of, no, a steal of five. So he just needs, <laughs> he gets a seven and five. That's a 12. So he ended up establishing a lead. Runner's speed versus catcher's arm. So it's speed plus all three dice. Speed plus all three dice. We're going to roll those. Monacy's speed is a five plus 15. That's a 20 against Steve Felice's arm, which is a six and 10, 16. So he ended up stealing himself a base. So it's R1S. Starts with SB. R1S. Got it. So we... Did I just hit okay there? SB... R1S. All right, cool. We stole a base successfully. Got every got the stolen bases right. Cool. So Carlos Delgado has an opportunity now. And Ken Hill with the pitch. That is a four, five, eight, uh, four, five, six. Four, five, six versus a righty. That is a single. The lead runner may try to challenge. That's what he's going to do. So he's going to try to challenge this. He's going to try to score. So... Runner one may try to advance. So his speed plus all three dice is got to be better than the arm of. Where did it go? It went to center field. Center fielder is Gerald Williams. There he is. So it is uh, 14 plus his speed of nine. It's five. So that gives him a 19, has to be better than 10 plus the arm. That is a 15. So he scores. Raul Mondesi scores, which means I want to make sure I'm getting that also correct. So that is a single. And then... R two S R two S. He should be able to advance one additional base. Nope, got that wrong. Let's undo that. And I can probably just do star star. Yep, there we go. Cool. Got it. Woo!
Boris Delgado knocks in RBI. Toronto Blue Jays are up. And Ken Hill has to be taken out of this game. He's at 32 pitches. Not looking great. So we're going to bring in uh, Mr. Mike Judd. Mike Judd is going to be our new pitcher. Judd is not in our starting lineup. Mike Judd is coming in to pitch. And Ken Hill is responsible for Carlos Delgado on first. Mike Judd with his first pitch. That is a 2-4-3. Versus a righty. That is a single plus. And the guy on first just goes to second. Nothing special there. So Mike Judd comes in. He throws four pitches and gives up a single. There are still no outs. And Jose Cruz is back up to bait, up to bat. Uh, he's got a, let's see, he went one for three. He's got an RBI. And I've got missing dice again. Oh. There we go. We got a five, six, one. 5-6-1 for Jose Cruz. 5-6 goes to our shortstop, who is Felix Martinez. 5-6-1. That is a 6-4-3 double play. A pitcher's best friend. Carlos Delgado does move over to third base, but all of a sudden the twin killing puts two batter or takes two batters out. Brad Fulmer with two outs and a man on third. He's over three on the day. That is a four nine seven. Four nine seven. Four nine seven. Yep. That ball is to deep right field. Randy Wynn heads back. That is a 10 plus six. That's a 16. And it is caught on the warning track and Fulmer is turned away again. Oh, for four on the day. And Chris Carpenter, Chris Carpenter is going to try to go for seven. He's at 95 pitches right now, uh, but he's been pretty dominant. He's going to start taking some uh, exhaustion ticks or fatigue ticks, I guess, if anybody gets on base. But he's going to try to go seven. Mike DeFelice up to bat first. That is a 6-4-1. And he's able to get DeFelice to fly out again. The center field, Jose Cruz. Catches it, tosses the ball back in, and there's one down for Gerald Williams. That's a 2-3-4. 4-3 ground out. 2-3-4. Yes, it is. Whoops. And that is a ground out for Gerald Williams. And Bob Smith is back up to bat. He is 0 for 1 with a walk. That is a 2-0-8. That becomes a... 408. And Bob Smith has worked himself his second walk of the day. How about that? Randy Wynn has a man on first and two down. Randy Wynn is 0 for 3. He's struck out twice and he's popped up once. He's not making good contact at all. That is a 164. 164. And Randy Wynn is able to work himself a walk. And there's got to be a conference at the mound now. Chris Carpenter's got himself two ticks. And he's got 
two guys on base with Felix Martinez up to bat. He knows Martinez doesn't have a ton of power. He's at 111 pitches. Who do I have in my bullpen? It's Felix Martinez. He's a switch hitter. Doesn't matter really which way I switch it. He's got more power versus a lefty. We're going to leave Carpenter in. Carpenter is going to get one more batter. It is a 6-8-8. Eight, eight. Oh, no. Should not have done that. 6-8-8 eight, eight becomes two ticks. Becomes 7-0-8. Oh, this is a ball to deep center field. Felix Martinez has a power of zero. That is a seven to deep center field. And that is a single. But it says, let's see. It's a single R2 question mark. Uh, hold on. R2 question mark exclamation mark is runner one. Runner one must challenge. Runner two must challenge. So the guy on second must challenge the arm. So Jose Cruz has our arm. He's got an arm of three. So it's a 13. And our runner is Bob Smith. He has a speed of three. So it's a three. Let's add these dice all up. That is a... Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Speed plus those dice is nine. And the arm of Jose Cruz is 10 plus the arm. Bob tries to score and he just gets thrown out at home. Oh no, my papers. Everything is falling apart on me. Bob Smith tries to score and he gets thrown out at home. That is R2X2. R2X2. Single R2X2. Because it's the runner on second, thrown out, trying to go two bases. Swung on Stewart singles. And he's out. Or not Stewart, uh, Felix Martinez. And Chris Carpenter gets some some uh, help. Let's see what do we got going over here? Do -do 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 -do. All right, Tony Batista. Facing off against Mike Judd. Mike Judd's hoping he can finish out this game, but we'll see. Tony Batista with a 388. 388. Tony Batista finally is out. That is a pop three to the first baseman. Alex Gonzalez is up to bat. That is a four, seven, eight. Four, seven, eight versus a righty. And Alex Gonzalez flies out to center field for Darren Fletcher. That is a one, zero, three. Becomes a three, zero, three. And that is a strikeout looking. Darren Fletcher has gone 0 for 4 on the day. We're headed to the bottom of the 8th. Still, Toronto is up. 3 to nothing. Chris Carpenter has got to be done for the day. 
He's pitched himself a great game. His final line is seven innings, six walks. That's a lot of walks. Three hits, seven strikeouts, no earned runs. Let's hit that pen and see who we got to put in here. Uh, we've got... Bring in a setup guy because we're in a hold situation. We're going to look at Paul Quantrill. Paul Quantrill is going to come in. Bam. All right, Paul Quantrill is facing off here against Ben Grieve. Grieve with a 5-6-5. Five, five. That ball is going to the shortstop with Alex Gonzalez. 5-6-5 five, five is a 6-3 ground out. One down. Now batting is Fred McGriff. He is 0 for 3 on the day. Come on, dice. Where are you in here? There we go. 3, 6, 5. 3, 6? No, nah, that's just going to become a 3 unassisted. There's nobody on, so it does not become a 3-6. And Russ Johnson steps in against Mr. Quantrill. That is a 6-1-6. It's a big old swing and a miss. Russ Johnson, take a seat on the bench. And we are headed to the ninth. Toronto Blue Jays leading 3 to nothing. And Mike Judd is continuing to pitch today. He's two innings pitched so far. He's only he's faced the, faced the minimum six batters. There's a 3-0-9. And that is a strikeout. Mike Judd. The bullpen has actually been super awesome. They've only given up two runs since Tanyan Sturts got hurt early there in the game. Raul Mondesi 0 for 3 with a walk, a run scored, and a stolen base. That is a 6-1-7. And that is a strikeout. Raul Mondesi swings and misses. Mike Judd. Does he have one more batter in him? Carlos Delgado right through the heart of the order. That is a 1-3-6. And he gets that ball to fly out to left field. Ben Greve travels under it and catches it for the third out of the ninth inning. We are headed to the ninth where Billy Koch is going to come in and try to save the game. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Billy Koch hitting or going in as the pitcher. Let's see. Are there, since I haven't really looked at this yet, is there anybody here that should be defensively replaced? No, not really. I mean, maybe I've got a right fielder that's better than Mondesi. Who's my outfielder? No, we're going to leave that the team as it is. We'll figure out defensive replacements later. But as of right now, Billy Koch is coming in for the save. Can they shut out the Tampa Bay Rays on opening day? Greg Vaughn gets the first crack at it. That is a 1-1-2. Becomes a 3-1-2, and Greg Vaughn strikes out looking. One down. Mike DeFelice, one for three on the day with a single ground out and a fly out. That is a 1-0, I'm sorry, a 2-0-1. That becomes a 4-0-1. That's a ground out, 6-3. And there are two down.
Let's see. Gerald Williams. Does Tampa Bay have somebody that they may pinch hit with? They're going to try to pinch it with Jose Guillen. That's what's going to happen here. We're going to go pinch hit. And Jose Guillen is coming in. And here we go. Billy Koch versus Jose Guillen. That is a three, four, six. And the ball hit into the outfield to right field. Raul Mondesi guts under it. Squeezes the ball for the third out. And the Toronto Blue Jays have their first win of the season, shutting out the Tampa Bay Devil Rays at their home opener. Three to nothing. So, you know what I don't have set up in OBS is something that's going to show, well, that just shows just me. Can I add, I need something that's going to show just uh season ticket. I'll have to build that at some point because I want to add, well, we can do it right now and it'll just be ugly. We're going to add a window capture. Season ticket's actually in here already. I just never renamed it. What's this one? Window capture three. So we're going to come over here. We're going to add a window capture. And it's season ticket. Bam. Great. Nobody needs to look at me. Or I can even move me really big. And I move me. Where am I? Wrong window. <laughs> Everybody gets to watch my funsies. There we go. I'll just put me down here in the corner. I'm going to be really big, though. So we can pop back here to season ticket, and we can take a look at that box score. Oh, well, it's not done. Our newspaper box score. There we go. Tony Batista with two doubles. Carlos Delgado with a home run. Two RBIs for Delgado. Jose Cruz had an RBI. They were three for 10 with runners in scoring position. Chris Carpenter gets the win. Qual Cal <laughs> Paul Quantrill with a hold. Billy Koch with the save. Tanyan Sturtz takes the loss, the hard luck loss. He only gave up the one home run to Carlos Delgado, but then got himself hurt. Here's our extended box score that's all nice and pretty. Oh, look at that. It's got fielding chances and everything. How about them apples? And we are going to save and exit that game. Did all the other games get played? All they did. Let's see if anything interesting here happened. We got this star right here. Los Angeles Angels left 14 runners on base. Let's see what names we got here. I, 2001 was a long time ago. So we got David Ortiz with a home run. Chipper Jones with a home run. Jimmy Rollins, player of the game. With, it went one for seven with a grand slam. Let's see who else do we got here. Scott Schoenweiss. Johnny Damon playing for the A's. Tim Salmon. Brian Giles. Ronnie Belliard. Curtis Liskanik. So there we are, finishing April 3rd. So rather than me... Just going through all the leaderboards and all that jazz. We're just going to pop back over here to OBS. If everything just, oh no, there we go. So, and we can pop back here to me. Nope, that's not me. That's me. Well, it was just me and now I'm down here with my board. So we're just going to move me all up. Thank you for coming to the Sports Simulation Spectator. I've been your host, Mike. Come back and check out... Uh, the other games throughout the season, right now we're two games in, uh, still playing Red, White, and Blue Race, and still playing History Maker Golf, still playing Up-Tempo Basketball, uh, and I'm sure something else, but you can come in, check out the playlists, 
like, subscribe, all those fun things. I enjoy uh, feedback. Thanks, Dwayne, for coming in and talking to me, keeping me company during the time. Uh, if you have any questions, comments, feel free to put them in the comments below, and I'll get back to you. I absolutely will. Thanks, and we'll talk to you later. See ya.